In this lecture snippet, I'm going to do an overview of, of hex editors, how they're used in forensics, what they look like, as well as some of the tools that we have to work with in Linux and more specifically Ubuntu. So what a hex editor is, is basically it's a tool that reads in all the ones and zeros of a file or the whole hard drive or even just a partition of the whole hard drive. And it actually represents that data in a format called hexadecimal. And so we actually can read in all these ones and zeros and see what the actual file looks like on the disk itself. Now when we usually work with files on an operating system, we usually see a presentation of that file where we'll see images and we'll see letters and numbers and text all together and we'll see lots of graphics. And we don't actually get to see what the hard drive actually is holding or whatever drive that we're working with is actually holding in the data itself. And so with a hex editor, we get down to the most basic level and look at the ones and zeros that make up that file or that partition or hard drive itself. Now with the hex editor, we actually take in those ones and zeros and put them into the hexadecimal format. Now hexadecimal is a counting system that we have that uses 16 different digits. And you can see that it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and then it's going to be A, B, C, D, E, and then F. Now those all together make up our 16 digits. And so when you see a hexadecimal number, you'll see it written with letters and with numbers together and so it can look a little confusing at first but it will only go up to the letter F and that's how it counts. Now each set of our hexadecimal numbers are, represent 8 bits and so what I've done is I've given you an example here with this 3F so you might see 3F together and that actually represents 8 ones and zeros and what we'll need to do is convert that hexadecimal number over to a binary number which I have done already for you and you can see this is what it actually represents eight zeros or two zeros and then six ones to make a total of eight bits together now eight bits is also known as one byte in the next video on the series I'll actually be using a calculator to show you how to do the conversion between hexadecimal decimal as well as binary formats in this next slide that I have here, I just give you an example of one of the tools that we work with. And so we can actually see a lot. This is actually the partition that I'm working with. And you can see a lot of information here. This is an NTFS partition. I can see the EB is the character I've highlighted, two letters. And that represents one byte or eight bits. And so if I were to interpret that into binary format, that right there is telling me that on the beginning of this partition, the first bit would be a 1, followed by a 1, by a 1, by a 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. And that is interpreted that, that for me. Now in the center here is all my hexadecimal code. On the left hand side, they basically start off from the very beginning of either the file or the partition, and these are called, considered our offsets, or how far we have gone from the beginning. And then on the right hand side we usually see an ASCII interpretation and sometimes this will make sense and a lot of times it won't look like anything that makes sense because a lot of this isn't designed to be text but we do have an interpretation here in the event that it is text and we can see NTFS clearly here. And here are just a few of the tools that we have to work with as hex editors in Ubuntu or in Linux operating system. The first two that I have listed here are console based hex editors and there are quite a few more out there but these are some of the more popular ones that I've seen or worked with myself. And so hex edit is the one I actually use here in this slide to actually perform this and pull this information out of an NTFS partition. So that's hex edit. And you can see hex edit can be installed running this simple command sudo apt get install hex edit. And these two are console based or terminal based, which means that they are in that terminal and they don't have that graphical front end to it. The other ones that you see listed here are all GUI based or graphical based. And we can have like the file open and we can have different little buttons that we can click to work with. I will tell you that the console based ones seem to work better for opening up partitions and, and drives themselves more specifically. The GUI based ones do a lot better job opening up just files. And I've had a couple difficulties trying to open up a whole partition with a few of the GUI hex editors that you see here. With the exception of WX Hex Editor, which is a beta version at the moment, and uh, does a really good job with opening up files, opening up partitions, and really just is a good layout of a hex editor. Unfortunately, it's not in the Ubuntu repository, so you'll have to download that one specifically from the website, which I have listed here for you, and actually run it. Uh, try to compile it if you're running in a different Linux operating system or just download the already compiled version of the application for Ubuntu to run it in there and use this as a GUI application. So this, these are just some of the tools that we have to work with as hex editors for Ubuntu.